Bilatacept improves long-term outcomes after kidney transplantation. Advancement in post-transplantation immunosuppressive management has reduced rates of acute rejection and improved one-year outcome in patients who underwent kidney transplantation. But there is no improvement in long-term renal allograft survival due to cardiovascular disease and chronic allograft neuropathy. Bilatacept is a selective co-stimulation blocker designed to provide effective immunosuppression and avoid renal and non-renal toxicities associated with calcineurin inhibitors. The main objective of the study is to determine long-term outcomes of bilatacept in patients who had kidney transplantation to assess the patient and graft survival, renal function and incidence of acute rejection in each bilatacept group compared to cyclosporine group. The study design was a three-year international, randomized, single-blind parallel group study with an active control. kaplan mayi oro method and cyclooxygenase regression methods were used to determine statistical analysis of the study. Among 666 patients who underwent randomization, 153 patients were evaluated for more intensity bilatacept. 163 evaluated for less intensity bilatacept, and 131 evaluated for cyclosporine after 84 months. The inclusion criteria for the study was 18 year and older patients who received a living donor or standard criteria deceased donor kidney transplant. The exclusion criteria for the study was donors of more than 60 years age or more than 50 years who had at least two risk factors like cerebrovascular accident, hypertension, anticipated cold ischemia of more than 24 hours, patients who received a kidney after cardiac death of the donor, patients with concurrent non-renal solid organ transplant were also excluded from the study. Patients assigned to take bilatacept, more intensive were provided. 10 mg per kg drug, on days 1 and 5, and at weeks. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. For 4 to 6 months, 10 mg per kg at weeks, 16, 20, and 24. Beyond 6 months 5 mg per kg drug, for every 4 weeks was given. For the patients assigned to take cyclosporine, initial daily dose was 4 to 10 mg per kg, which was adjusted to 150 to 300 nanograms per milliliter, up to 1 month, and 100 to 250 nanograms per milliliter, beyond first month. The participants were randomized into three groups and underwent kidney transplantation. Different groups of patients were treated with the drugs bilatacept and cyclosporine in different doses. Different parameters were evaluated in 12, 36, 60, and 84 months. The parameters evaluated in the study were efficacy that includes rate of death and rate of graft loss, estimated glomerular filtration rate safety of the drug, and rate of development of donor-specific antibodies. Estimated glomerular filtration rate was calculated with the use of six-variable modification of diet in renal disease equation. The graph was plotted on the basis of kaplan meyer to estimate the rate of death with more intensive bilatacept, less intensive bilatacept and cyclosporine for 36, 60, and 84 months. It was proved that the rate of death with bilatacept regimen, more intensity, and less intensity, was less when compared to cyclosporine. The graph was plotted between the hazard ratio for bilatacept more intensive with cyclosporine 
and bilatercept less intensive, with cyclers porine, for 60 and 84 months. The graph was plotted to estimate the rate of graft loss among the patients receiving more intensive bilatercept, less intensive bilatercept, and cyclers porine, with censoring of the data for death for 36, 60, and 84 months. The rate of graft loss with bilatercept treatment regimen was less compared to cyclers porine. The graph was plotted for the comparison of the hazard ratio of more intensive bilatercept and low intensive bilatercept with cyclers porine for 60 and 84 months. At month 84, the cumulative frequencies of serious adverse events in patients receiving more intensive and less intensive bilatercept regimens and for cyclers porine were 70.8%. 68.6% and 76.0% respectively. The graph was plotted to estimate the glomerular filtration rate for 12, 36, 60 and 84 months. The mean estimated glomerular filtration rate was calculated per minute per 1.73 meter square for each group of patients. It showed the significant difference in the estimated glomerular filtration rate favored each bilatercept regimen over cyclers porine. The Kaplan-Meier cumulative rates for the development of donor-specific antibodies at months 36, 60, and 84 were plotted. Development of donor-specific antibodies were significantly lower with each bilatercept regimen than with cyclers porine. From the above results, it is proved that 84 months, that is, 7 years after kidney transplantation, patient, and graft survival, and the mean estimated, glomerular filtration rate, were significantly higher, with bilatercept, more intensive regimen, and the less intensive regimen than with cyclers porine.